Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem three in chapter eleven. Chapter eleven is about the angular momentum. In this system, we can see a person stand on a merry-go-go, right? And then the initial angular ve、uh, velocity and the final angular ve velocity is given. And、uh, this changes is because this person raise her his arms to horizontal positions. He just、uh, Extend his body and make the angular velocity changes. And、uh, first question you need to answer why. Let's consider in these systems, the person is just raise the arms, but in this system, no external force act on it. Do you agree? Yes. No external force act on it. That means the no net torque. The net torque is zero, so the angular momentum is conserved, right? So initial angular momentum must equal to the final angular momentum. So we can see initially is I omega, omega I, finally is I final omega F, and we can see for the person extend his body, this、uh, momentum of er erosion must increase. Do you agree? Because you can see at first the mass is there. We know the momentum of erosion is m r square. See, this is a rotation axis. Initially, this is the r. Finally, he extends the arm. So that means the r increases. R increases makes the momentum of erosion increases, right? And this r increases because this one there to equal to initial angular momentum. So omega f. Final angular momentum, final angular velocity must decrease. The second part we need to find is the ratio between the momentum of initial change. See this one, the initial angular momentum equal to final angular momentum. So this one we find is the final angular、uh, momentum of initial is just one point three times initial momentum of initial. Thank you.